What is going on, everyone? Oops. My name's Boyd, and I'm back with some more Age Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the left side of the map in the blue color. Playing as Kronos. He likes being ridden around by plumbers with red caps with the letter M etched into the front of them. He likes being stroked on the head and told, he is a beautiful little boy. And yes, he is an amazing Age Mythology player. He is Yoshi. His opponent today in the red color, playing as Poseidon from the Old Boys Clan, hence the name Not So Old Wiz. His name is Wiz. My cousin from New Zealand. Yes, he is from New Zealand. We have a fellow OCE, Oceanic player. We are few and far between. <laughs> Australia is so far from the rest of the world. I need a friend. Just one. But yes, this is competitive mega random. It's exciting times. This is the group stage. Yoshi going in with Kronos here. We've seen Yoshi do Kronos a couple of times. Well, actually, I've only seen one game thus far from Yoshi in this, or two games thus far from Yoshi in this in this series, and he went Kronos in one of those series. So we've seen Yoshi go Kronos once, and he went for an absurd fast mythic strategy here. We'll see what he's got in store for him. I think Kronos is one of the most interesting, most unexplored gods left. Of all of the gods... I think that Kronos has got the least Explorer Ward strategies. Out. Do you know what I'm saying? He, because of the time shift mechanic that he has, it means that things like towers, things like temples, uh, they can go anywhere on the map, which means you can do whatever you want with that. It's exciting. I'm excited for what Yoshi comes up with. Such a smart player. Now, Wiz, on the other hand, he's... um. He's a gamer, man. This guy is a strong player. And if he wants to, he can get very, very high level in this game. It just so happens that he gets bored pretty easily of Age Mythology and decides to go play other games. Uh, so we'll see what shape he's in for this tournament thus far and how he's going to proceed here. We see the temple coming up here for not so old Wiz. We've got some relics on the map. We do have the Canopic Jar of Imset. Negative 15% infantry training time. Uh, the relic down the bottom of the map is the head of Orpheus plus eight building line of sight. And the pigs scouting around looking what they're going to do. We do have a, yet another one of these spawns where there is a meeting place in the center of the map. A little dip here in the map. Just saying, hey guys, fight here. Right here. But then I say there's nothing to fight for, so why fight here? Sometimes we'll see that happen, but you know, who knows? As we see the Oracle here getting slapped away. Now Wiz throwing a couple of villages onto gold, just four, and a couple over onto wood as well. I'm not sure exactly what this indicates. It looks to me as if Wiz is probably gonna be going for some sort of one town center classical fight here whereas yoshi not yet advancing looking like he's going for a 515 which actually indicates to me that yoshi wants to go for a far second town center here this is an old this is an old uh gaia strategy the idea being that the gaia was getting punished for going fast to town center so in, in the archaic age because it would come up very late so the um so that the guy player would go 515 so they could get some units out and defend their town center this was obviously back in a time when things were a little bit slower but i wonder if this works here for yoshi yoshi is going through leto and not going through prometheus here this is playing out very very gaia-esque We'll see how it's going to go as this village has been changed over onto this medium gold mine. The house coming up over here as well. And we 
don't. Yes, we see the stable coming up here and a whiz is on the gold, on the wood, and it is in fact looking like a fast second town center. There's not a whole lot of food here to fight for. As what is Yoshi spending his resources on right now? He's getting himself pickaxe. Taking this very slow. He's over here on the berries. There's not really much hunt on this map at all, which is definitely a, a spawn possibility as there's also a lure to bring all that food into the main base. Just to see the centaur coming in to Yoshi's base here. And those villagers have to head their way back home. Would be worth it to come over onto this pig. We do have a automaton stamping his feet over here to try and take out this centaur as the town center is coming down. Wiz, very, very smart player. I've already said it, but he's going to be realizing low hunt means I can play defensively here. He's not going to be able to get a fast... Uh, any fast advances or do anything too crazy here with super low hunt. We see one little jab there. Uh, so you can even go fast three towns into here. It might be a little bit too much against Kronos, but hey, you never know. And the centaur is out and alive. And Yoshi has to figure out where to next as he does decide to go and double counter barracks into Terma here. Role playing as Oranus in a big way. As we see the villagers pulling back. Granary coming up. Some might say... I'm not sure many would say this. But some might say that Yoshi has learned from a certain Kronos player that he played, from, played against once upon a time. A certain player might be in chat right now. We're not going to say his name because that would be giving it away. You are true competitive Mega Random fans. You might notice what's going on here. Anyways. Onwards and upwards. Wiz wandering forward with his heroes. Going to try and push off this goal, off this food here. He also has his eyes stuck on this, uh, on this berry bush on this location. He does spot that mana, but deciding to go for these berries instead seems like a good idea as the automaton is going to be wandering forward. I... Is that not the smartest thing you've ever seen in your entire life? I actually think it is. The automaton can out repair the town center's damage. But Wiz is too smart for that. He goes, "Too bad. I'm gonna just pick off your uh, your units, and we're, we're just it's gonna we're, and that's just, we're just gonna be done with that. Uh, I'm just gonna pick off your. Uh, you got to target them down though. We do see a up, oh, up, oh, a cheeky stable." He's gonna, he's gonna, oh, can he get the building block? He's trying, he's trying. This is completely justified. These eggs, he knows exactly where they are. They're right under his town center. He's gonna attempt to build a stable on top of them in order to delete those eggs. And he gets every single one of them there. Even throwing the archery range down as well as Yoshi is continuing to move in here. But the heroes coming through are gonna be able to push those automatons out of here. Uh, and Wiz is going to attempt to defend here, but Joshi is unrelenting as Wiz has to cast the ceasefire god power. Well, you have to think about it, guys. If you place the spider eggs somewhere and your opponent can, and your opponent is disallowed to build the buildings on top of it, what would that look like? That would look like you could see where the uh, spider eggs are. So you can't have it both ways. Either the spider eggs have to be hidden from your opponent, or they would have to disallow the area to be built on, which gives it away. In essence, spider lair is a defensive tool, and if you build it in your opponent's base, and they see it, then they will be able to build there. And that would mean the eggs are gone. Now, you could say the eggs are still underneath this stable. That's another option. Just let the eggs be underneath the stable. If the building gets picked off, the eggs still live. But unfortunately, that's not how Age of Mythology's code works. And I would be more than happy to say, make that happen. But we don't have that as an option, do we? No, not, not the case at all. Anyways, we're now a little bit housed. Yoshi, on the other hand, is full steam ahead. 
And he is going to be hitting a very respectable heroic age here. Uh, created mostly based on the fact that uh, Yoshi has managed to go counter barracks into Terma here. He's going to be wandering around the map looking for some more damage to deal. The fact that there was a ceasefire... The fact that there was a ceasefire here means a lot for, uh, for Yoshi. As the villagers here getting... Taken out. Nice. Nice picks there. And the Soma getting pulled back. As Wiz moving up onto this berry bush over here. But Yoshi has scouted it out nicely. Where are these villagers going? It seems like... Oh, I'm just going to shank that oracle over there. As Yoshi spots it. But where's the temple? It's here. Rhea coming through, which means... If Wiz's idea here is to go heroic age, that Nemean lion or that, uh, that Hydra... It's going to be Yoshi's. Yoshi hits the... Just about hits the heroic age. We'll see if he goes for extra behemoth and tries to take the town center down. The behemoths are very, very strong. They're in fact identical to a scarab in, I think, nearly every single way, except they also heal themselves. Uh, and they don't they don't give blood off and deal damage when they die. But you see that uh, the spider lair does come through. It's going to pick up a couple more units there. Spyler is such an obnoxiously strong god power sometimes. But so too are many other god powers. So that's that. So we are seeing one behemoth out. Are we seeing more behemoth? No, nope, not just yet. As the term will come through, going to start picking off a couple of these villages up on this gold mine over here. There is still about 978 gold in this gold mine. Whiz with not a lot of resources in the bank right now in terms of gold. But... He's still okay. He's still fine. Still kicking. He's just got his work cut out for him. He needs to figure out a way to get in and punish this town center as time ticks down. He is throwing a palace down. This makes a lot of sense. One of the biggest advantages that Cronus has is the fact that he has cheap destroyers. Cheap destroyers are so good. If you have uh, those cheap destroyers, you train them and you get more of them and they go and kill your opponent nice and easily. That's the idea. See if uh, any sort of Mythic Age shenanigan. One town center to the Mythic Age makes the most sense here. Getting a second town center, you can still keep trying to push. But the idea here would be to stay one town center and get Mythic Age as fast as you can to get as much, as much of a tempo as you possibly can. If you go for a town center right now, it's going to delay your Mythic Age by quite some time. As these uh, destroyers can just simply sit on this town center, distract the army. And this is, this is what makes Yoshi so good. He is in the mind of his opponent at all times. The destroyers come in. They see how many units are going to come through. The army swings around. Goes after the villagers. Over here, the destroyers come in. The behemoth comes in. Wizards, villagers get absolutely annihilated. He's going to be retreating back as fast as he can. He might be able to catch this army out pretty nicely, though. So we also see a, uh, a cheeky traitor there onto the center, stealing that one away from himself. He could be pushing into this town center yet again, especially with the behemoth here. Uh, but Yoshi just simply retreats. No problems. A lot of those units get replaced by more destroyers here. The town center is going to be getting taken down. These units over here are going to continue putting pressure up onto this, onto this berry bush over here as the Hippocon coming in to take, try and take these units down. And Yoshi doing his all to try and finish off this town center. It is looking like it's probably going to get pushed off on this push, especially with two behemoths. Probably didn't even need this second one. But sending it in... Nonetheless, nice micro from Yoshi yet again. He is an insanely mechanical player in that his micro is on point. His macro is on point. Uh, and he can, and his strategy is honest. It's just one of, one of my favorite players to watch. Especially seeing him grabbing all of the berry bushes on the map. We will be seeing the Hippocon looking for a raid though. Going to come after this gold mine. Makes a lot of sense here. He's just got his farm set up. They're actually placed really nicely. It's very, very aesthetic farms here from Wiz. Uh, as the villagers just trying to chop down as much wood as they possibly can. Wiz does find his way over here onto these villagers. Going to get a little bit of damage done, but the Mermillo 
chasing after them as the villagers try and wander around and keep themselves alive here. So if he's going to get any of them as he's trying his darnest. And it does look like one citizen kill here. We'll go the wayside of Yoshi. Sorry, of Wiz. Yoshi is also throwing his marker down. I'm not sure if Wiz spotted that or not. Does he spot it? Yes, he does spot the market. So he should have somewhat of an idea that a Mythic Age is on the way. Whether or not he's going to have an answer to that is another question. There's also the other fact that Cronus doesn't need to put his market in the corner because he can time shift it there. Which is a, another small little known fact that Cronus gets a benefit over his opponent from. As we see the unit still trying to push in here. They're going to get taken back. And now the Hippocon turning back onto this gold mine, but there are the Mermillo still here. Aphrodite on the way. Yoshi could buy his way to the Mythic Age right now. He's got the market up. One citizen does get sniped down. Nice play from Wiz. Going to keep on harassing that one. As Wiz tries to push forward, but with the palace here, it's too scary. Three arrows shooting 14 damage a second is almost too much to deal with. As the Napolita in the bank is scary enough to keep those automatons away from there. And the Hippocon, yet again, they turn around. So I don't want to go in there just yet. Still searching for villages to pick off. We are seeing the town center is up, but Helios on the way already for Yoshi. Probably would have liked to see a, a, an implode here, actually, from Yoshi. Just dropping that down in the main base could be... Absolutely insane, but Yoshi wants the Helios, getting himself the town centers up. He's already at two, going for three. We are seeing a mana getting uh, dropped in here to try and keep these villagers alive. Almost getting that military barracks down, but the villager will be able to just garrison into the manor as the Merle Miller come in. And Yoshi says, no, sir, not today. It's my town center, not yours, and you're going to have to just deal with it. Do you see a bit of a curse getting thrown down, hitting a couple of these units here. And Yoshi just simply retreating back here. And we see, oh, oh, and that last spider egg it gets another kill. Such a terrifying death. Death to underground spider. Reminds me of a certain Star Wars movie. A certain bounty hunter gets eaten by, not a spider, but a creature that Comes from the underground. Anyways. Hippocon just hanging out over here looking to raid this location. The mana has moved closer to the gold mine to make it just a little bit easier here. We will be seeing... Whoop. We will be seeing the Vortex getting dropped in. And this is no normal Vortex. This Vortex is very strong here from Yoshi. I've seen people trying to use Helios a lot. But in this situation here, he gets himself a hack of Gigantes, two Behemoth, and a handful of Destroyers in order to take this town center down. We also saw a trader on the Nemean line going to be pushing these units away, and Wiz is going to instantly lose the town center he once just threw up. Hephaestus on the way now for Wiz uh, as Yoshi is going to continue his conquest here to, to finish off, uh, off Wiz's, uh, Wiz's base. As Hippocon come back in, going to try and take down the mana. They do a lot of damage to this mana, but the Mermillo are in. So these uh, these Hippocon have to look for somewhere else. As we see also the marker getting taken down. It's going to be a bunch of uh, Militia coming out here for, uh, for Wiz. There's the Arcus wandering through here. And we see Yoshi trying to get onto the town center. As the Hekigigantes swings around, going to jump up. That damage done onto those Toxodi here as the Atlanta doing his darnness here. Atlanta running up to this top side, going to be going after these Behemoth. Take those down fairly quickly here. Market gets taken out. That's two markets down, but Wiz will probably get to the mythic age so he's probably going to lose this temple which is a little well, he might lose it there's atlanta plus all these other units we do see a vortex though onto this location funnily enough the units that are in the location don't actually get teleported today i learned uh, and the town's going to get taken down 
Wait. How? How didn't these Mermelo get dropped up here? Does Yoshi know something that everyone else doesn't? They were in a house. Yoshi does know something that I didn't. Another little known mechanic that I didn't know. After how many years? This is why Kronos just hasn't been... <laughs> Kronos and Helios apparently haven't been explored at all. I mean, at least not to my knowledge. Garrisoning these units in a house means they're not going to get um, teleported. There you go. The more you learn. I mean, everybody in Twitch chat knows. Of course. Of course, if they're garrisoned, they don't get traded. Duh. Like, how could you not know that? It's obvious. It's not like other god powers affect stuff that's garrisoned. Like, I don't know, like Ragnarok, for example. Fine, guys. Jeez. And Miz in that moment decides to tap out. Oh, I love it. I love Yoshi's Kronos. Yoshi's Kronos is so much fun. Such an incredibly strong player. Always doing stuff that is super unique. I love one town center Atlantean ideas. I think this is 100% not only the most fun way to play Atlantean, but also the most skilled way and arguably the best way to get wins with Kronos. Thank you so much uh, to Warfield for the 15 months. Appreciate you 20 years for playing and I'm still learning something new. There you go. We're all learning something new. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next game.